Hey, what's up? Uh, so what I'm up to is a little experiment today. Um, last weekend I put together this uh, Klon clone uh, using the Mad Bean Sun King 2 board. Um, haven't yet decided on the diode, so what I want to do here is try a bunch of different diodes head laying around, uh, seeing how they sound in the circuit. Uh, so what I did is um, I have the diode uh, the diodes socketed, and I ran some jumpers out from the PCB to a breadboard here, uh, which allows me to easily switch between them and uh, see what they sound like. So the diodes I'm using are uh, a mixed bag. Uh, over here on the left, I got a uh, Japanese white from Small Bear. Um, don't know much about it other than it's a germanium diode. Uh, pretty low uh, forward voltage, and I'll, I'll explain what forward voltage means in this case in a few. Um, I got a 1N270, another germanium diode, an AN306 germanium. Uh, this is a 1N5818 shot key. This is a 1N34A. Uh, it's a pretty common uh, germanium diode. Um, I'm pretty certain that uh, what's being used in the actual clons, the real clons, or at least the clon KTR. If you look at the gut shot of the clon KTR, you'll see a very, very, very similar looking diode. And it's possible it's just some something else that looks the same, but um, I'm, I'm almost convinced that the the clon KTR uses these diodes. And they're really cheap. I, you can get them on eBay for like $2 for $20. Uh, that's what I did, free shipping from China. So, um, I, and I like the sound of them, but we'll get into that in a bit. Uh, these are silicon diodes, the 1N41. Four eight, uh, similar to what you find in something like the Electromonic Soul Food, and just for fun, I have some LEDs. Uh, cool thing about LEDs and overdrive circuits, distortion circuits, is when you use them for clipping, uh, when they engage, they light up. So that's kind of cool. Um, so for equipment, I'm playing through an Ignator Tweaker 15 head uh, set to Fender voicings, so it's uh, clean. There's not a, a lot of gain from the amp. Uh, Marshall Class 5 10 inch uh, cab, uh, Shore SM57 mic, and the guitar of choice for the day is a uh, 2014 Gibson Melody Maker with um, P90 pickup, P90S pickup. So let me get set up and we'll jump into this. Alright, so what I'm going to do is uh, engage the diodes, um, of course, the breadboard, see how they sound at different gain levels and uh, digging in different play uh, styles. So, um, just the clean tone is a very uh, Fender like sound. Um, no gain coming from the amp. We want to hear all the gain coming from uh, the circuit and the clipping diodes. So, um, gonna, I have the LEDs in the circuit. The circuit isn't on, I'm going to put it on, but the gain's all the way at zero, so they're not going to engage, but you can hear the magic of the clon. You know, the, the cool thing about the clon is it will sort of amplify your signal, uh, give it some thickness and clarity, but it won't really color the sound, so what you're just getting is a louder version of your signal, uh, you know, beefier and... Uh, with a lot more clarity, but it's not really coloring your sound. Um, so these clipping diodes, let me let me explain how that works. Um, an overdrive circuit, uh, what it does is it takes the voltage fed by your guitar, which is a very, very low voltage, and amplifies it to a higher voltage and puts it into your amp to drive your amp harder. Um, past a certain voltage when you have a diode in the circuit or set of diodes in the circuit, it will start clipping the signal meaning it will give it that sort of distortion characteristic to it. Um, when you have a diode with what's called a high forward voltage, um, that will jump into, that will engage much later than a uh, diode with a lower forward voltage. So LEDs, um, first thing I'm going to use, have a very high forward voltage. So your gain has to be fairly high or you have to really, with your pick, pick attack, dig in really hard for them to engage uh, when your gain is lower. So um, let me pull the gain up to just under noon, um, and they'll start engaging then. And the cool thing about LEDs is they'll light up as they engage. So
So you can hear uh, the gain. Uh, you can hear a sort of distortion characteristic jump in there. You can't see it on the video, I'm sure, but the LEDs did light up. Uh, if I pull the gain all the way up to um, 3 o'clock. You can probably see that. Um, I, I don't know if you can or not, but um, they did light up a lot more. They were really engaged in the circuit. They were clipping the tone and um, you can hear it in the sound. So that's LEDs. Um, what I'm going to do now is jump over to the silicon uh, 1N4148s. So the thing with these guys is they have a really high voltage as well. It's something like 0 0.5, 0 0.59 volts. Um, so they will jump in much later. So right now I'm at nine o'clock. You can hear it clipping. Um, one thing I also want to explain is that you can pull the diodes out of the circuit and you'll hear clipping. And why is that? Because on an overdrive circuit, uh, diodes are part of the equation when it comes to uh, the distortion characteristic. The other part is the op amp. Uh, so in these, the, to amplify the sound, uh, they use a component called an op amp, which is basically an operational amplifier. And once that gets past a certain uh, say voltage or volume like that will start cl clipping as well the point of the diodes is to clip before that so you get the clipping characteristics of the diode versus the op amp because op amp clipping is generally harsh it never really sounds good unless that's the tone you want to go for like on a proco rat uh, that op amp has a very distinct uh, characteristic to it when it clips um, but in the clon you the op amps don't really sound too good when they clip um, so we want to have the, the uh, diodes come in first. So with a silicon diode, they'll come in pretty late with the forward voltage that high. So you really have to sort of crank the gain. Um, and it's not like a great sound. Um, that's why you generally don't see silicon diodes in clon or clones. Uh, you will see it in like the electromagnetic soul food, and it sounds okay. Um, but um, you know, there's like the JSH mods that they'll swap them out or have a toggle switch for silicon and germanium. Um, jump over to germanium now. I have my 1N34A, uh, which I'm you know, this is what I generally use in clon circuits, they're pretty easy to get. Um, you know, I got these on eBay for like $2 for 20 shipped from China. Um, like I, you know, I'm really convinced that these are the ones that are on the Klon KTR. Um, and they sound good. Um, so let me... Gain pretty low, 9 o'clock. At noon, they'll really start to turn smoother characteristics. What I can do is sort of playing light. They're not really kicking in. And if I dig in, you start to hear them. So I'm going to pull this all the way up to 9 o'clock. Generally on a clone circuit, um, I'll never pull the gain up that high. Uh, it sounds kind of nasty. The op bands will start clipping and the diodes were really really clip and it's not really the sound you go for in a clon but nonetheless I'm going for it so we can hear the characteristics of the diode. <laughs> clock slightly harsh but not terrible um, let me jump over to the shock keys these are the uh, what 1N5 8s forward voltage is the lowest of any of these is at uh, 0 0.131 uh, so they'll kick in really early <laughs> nothing really 9 o'clock a little bit um, try it at noon <laughs>
o'clock, they sound really nasty. Anything below that, they're, in my opinion, uninteresting. Um, and a clown circuit, I would not use these diodes, but it was fun to try them. I'm going to switch over now to the uh, AN306. Don't know anything about them, but they are Germanian diodes. Forward voltage on these are 0.192. <laughs> Gain at nine o'clock at noon. <laughs> They're not really clipping the sound too bad. Uh, let's hear the characteristics of them. Put the gain up to nine. <laughs> some sort of kind of uh, harsh sort of clipping on them at nine o'clock um, pull it back they're okay uh, don't like them maybe they're a little harsh um, but not bad not bad. Definitely better than the shock keys or the silicon. Alright, uh, again at 9 o'clock, these are the uh, 1N270s. These have a forward voltage of 0.220. Um, these are the first ones I've tried in the circuit where you can really hear them at 9 o'clock. Let's hear it at noon. Not bad. Uh, let's pull up to nine. Not three. Terrible. Um, pretty good actually. Um, those sound good. Those were the 1 and 270s. Uh, I like them. Not bad. So last but not least, we're going to pull in the coolest looking ones. Uh, I don't know how they sound. These are the Japanese whites from Small Bear. Don't know anything about them other than they're germanium. Uh, I measured them at about 0.213 forward voltage. Let's hear it. <laughs> Gain at nine o'clock, gain at noon. Pull it up to nine o'clock. Okay, um, not terribly awesome, but um, a little, little harsh at higher volumes, um, but not bad. I want to switch back to the 1N270s for a sec, just to compare. Gain at noon, these seem a lot smoother. Even at uh, 9 o'clock, they sound pretty smooth. Um, and then I want to just really quick compare them back to uh, the 1N34As, which I said are probably what's in the clon. Based on that, I'm tossing back and forth between the 1N270s and the 1N34As. 
I think they sounded the best out of the lot. I didn't like the LEDs. I didn't like the silicon ones. I didn't like the shock keys. Uh, I think the AN the 306 sounded a little harsh. I wasn't a really big fan of those. Japanese white are the, definitely the coolest looking ones out of the lot, but I'm not going to put them in. You know, it's going to be an enclosure. I'm not, I'm not going to be looking at them, and they didn't sound uh, as good as the other ones. So it's definitely a toss up between the 1N270 and the 1N34A. I hope this video was educational to you, uh, if not entertaining. I had fun doing it, and hopefully, you know, I can do some other videos soon. Thanks for watching.